Hi all. In this video, we'll discuss about an interview question. And the question is, how we can join two tables without primary key and foreign key? Now let's get started. So you can see over here, I've created two tables. That is employee table and project table. And as you can see, in both the tables, I have not mentioned any primary key or foreign key. So in employee table, I have employee ID and employee name without any constraint. And here also in project table, I have employee ID and project name without any constraint. So here I don't have any primary key constraint or foreign key constraint. Now, how we can join these two tables? So we'll execute all the four joins that is inner join, left outer join, right outer join, and full join. So let's see what all data we have. So I will execute this query that is select star from employee. As you can see over here, we have employee ID is one, two, three, four, and employee name is ABCD. And if I execute this particular query, select star from project. Here we have employee ID is one, two, five, six, and project name is XYZ, PQR, XYZ, and PQR. Okay, now when we come across this kind of scenario where we'll be combining two tables where we don't have any primary key and foreign key. So in that case, we need to see what which is the common column. So here you can see employee ID is the common column in both. So now let's start with inner join. So for inner join, I'll write the query as select star from, let's take the first table name as employee, inner join, this is the keyword to perform inner join, project using, and you have to mention the common column. But this particular keyword is very, very important. So whenever you are combining two tables or whenever you're joining two tables without uh, primary key or foreign key, then you have to take the help of using keyword. And inside using, you need to pass the common column that is employee ID in this case. Now if I execute it, you can see. So in employee, we had one, two, three, four as my employee IDs. And in project, we had one, two, five, six as the employee IDs. So one and two are common in both. So that's what it's showing as one, two under employee ID, employee name is AB and project name is XYZ and B. Now let's discuss about left outer join. Same query I will write, just the only change will be instead of inner join, I need to write left join. So I will take employee on the left, left join, project on the right. Here also I'll mention as using EMP ID. So it be any kind of join. If it does not involve primary key or foreign key, you need to use using keyword. So we know in left outer join, all the items on the left table will be displayed. And the non-matching items on the right will be shown as null. As you can see, so employees on the left, so we have one, two, three, and four. So for one and two, we have project name information, but for three and four, we don't have any project name information. So that will be displayed as null. So let's execute it and see the output. So this is what the output is, which is correct. Similarly, for right join, next star from employees, I will take employee on the left and project on the right. So right join project in using EMP ID. So in case of right outer join, all the items on the right table will be shown and the non-matching items on the left will be displayed as null. So in this case, project is on the right. So the items are one, two, five, and six. So for one and two, we have employee name information, whereas for five and six, we don't have any employee name information. So that will be shown as null. So let's execute it. As you can see, for five and six, employee name is showing as null. Now coming to the last join, that is full join. So we know full join is nothing but the union of left outer join and right outer join. So for this, what we need to do is instead of writing star, we need to mention the column names. So I'll give it as employee ID as the first column, then employee name, the second column, and project name is the third column. So we need to maintain the same column sequence in both the joints, that is left outer region as well as on right outer region. And I will write it as from employee, left join, project using EMP ID. So this is the query for left outer region, then union, select, so I need to maintain the same sequence, that is employee ID and employee name and project name. So this is very important, always maintain the same sequence whenever we are mentioning the column names. 
your employee left and here i write it as right join right join project using MPD. so this will give me the output with respect to right operation so if we combine them so union is nothing but combination of rows so the combination is nothing but the full join so it is left join union right join let's execute it as you can see so for one and two we have common items in both so that's why employee name is showing as ap and project name is showing as xyz and pqr for three and four we don't have any project name information under project table so that's why it is showing as null and for five and six we don't have any employee name information under employee table so this proves that it's a combination of left auto join and right auto join so in this way we can combine the tables where we don't have primary key and foreign key so that's it from this video thanks everyone